Oh, hi, Arthur here, and welcome to Mobile Vlog. And today, we're diving into how sound can transform an ordinary video into something you will not want to look away from. We'll explore how to create emotional moments and why good sound design can make your video unforgettable. And remember, you don't need to be a pro editor. Just watch this video in 10 minutes. I will walk you through 10 key steps to help you get started with sound design. Now, first, let's look at defining the sound space for your video. Imagine you're shooting a video of forest walk. Your goal is to create an atmosphere of solitude with nature. Think about which natural sounds fit the scene. Rustling leaves, bird song, the sound of a stream and so on. You'll notice that the sound of a light breeze and bird song adds a sense of seclusion and harmony with nature. And this is exactly what we need. Adding a slight echo to the scene where we see the hero's footsteps can expand the surrounding space. For an extra, use the sound of the wind, but modify it slightly by increasing its speed and adding low frequencies to create a sense of approaching mystery or something unknown in the depths of the forest. I will explain how to do this in the next steps. Combining different sounds and experimenting with their volume and placement on the timeline immerses the viewer in the intended atmosphere. This approach allows viewers to not just watch the hero in his walk, but fully immerse themselves in the feelings and emotions you want to convey. And by the way, Mobavi software is perfect for adding sound design to bring your creative ideas to life. And now is the time to tell you about the Movavi offer. What is Movavi Unlimited? Movavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large, unwieldy footage on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor that lets you get creative with video thumbnails. You can crop, resize, apply filters, and add text stickers and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you're tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't want to miss. Moving on to step two, finding the necessary sounds. You can find sound effects from online libraries, for example, sounds of footsteps on different surfaces, doors opening, phone rings, and various mechanisms. Typically, sounds are divided into three categories. Natural, wind, rain, animal sounds, city, nature, artificial, machines, electronics, and special, explosions, impacts. I recommend using YouTube's built-in library to find unique and free sounds or just search YouTube for a sounds copyright free to find channels offering free content. For even more sound options, visit sites like Storyblocks where content is royalty free, although a subscription is required. In the end, you'll have a collection of sound files that you can use for sound design. Move into step three. You will need software to edit sound files, but you can use the one you're editing your videos with. For instance, Mobile video editor. Simply drag the sounds and music downloaded in the previous step onto the timeline or record audio through a microphone directly in the program. That works too. Once you've chosen your sound design software, the next step is editing, where you select the right sounds, edit audio files, and add effects if needed. In the settings, you can change the volume and playback speed, create dynamics using the fade in tool. The sound will gradually increase to maximum volume or fade out, so it will gradually decrease. Try reverse play of nature sounds and footsteps to flip the audio track. This visualizes a transition moment, creating a feeling of immersion in another dimension or memory. Cool and very simple technique. To create a unique forest atmosphere, adjust the equalizer to emphasize natural forest sounds. Try boosting frequencies in the two to eight kilohertz range to highlight bird song and wind noise, and change frequencies below 100 hertz to eliminate unwanted deep sounds like distant homes or resonance that might distract viewers. If the original audio has unwanted noise, use effects to clean up the sound and create a pure forest atmosphere. You can also add a bit of echo to create a sense of space, but don't overload the sound to maintain naturalness. Subtle sounds that don't dominate the soundscape, like barely audible rustling leaves can add depth and warmth to the forest atmosphere. Use this effect to create a soft and pleasant sound texture. However, 
monitor the volume levels, experiment with various parameters to achieve the perfect sound. Now let's move on to the fifth step. Place the chosen sounds on the timeline. Put each sound element on a separate track to adjust the volume and effects individually. For instance, for rustling leaves, bird song, and the sound of the stream. This will help you create a great sound backdrop that enhances the viewing experience. To make the forest atmosphere truly magical, change the bird song audio clip. Start with quiet singing, not in the foreground. It's like the forest is just waking up with birds somewhere far off. Then imagine the sun higher, the forest is away, and the birds are now closer with increased volume. And towards the middle of the video, they quiet down again. Imagine walking along a path. This sound should be as if viewers themselves are walking through the leaves. This sound is the main one, so its volume should be slightly higher. This technique is called foreground sound. In the background, add the wind sound, already with less volume, as if it's somewhere far away. Use panning to create a spatial effect. For example, the hero's footsteps can be centered while the bird sounds and rustling leaves can move from left to right, creating a sense of movement and depth. Let's move on to the sixth step, synchronizing sound with video. It's important to ensure that sound elements match the visuals. Sound effects should precisely underscore on-screen actions and music should support the overall rhythm and mood. If you're adding music with pronounced rhythm, use the beat detection tool. It's useful for syncing video with background music and here's how. It analyzes the audio track determining the rhythmic pattern, the beats. These beats are then displayed as markers on the timeline. Editing with markers eliminates the manual adjustment process. The next step is mixing. Combine all the soundtracks into a single hall, creating the balance among the audio files to achieve the desired atmosphere. For instance, mixing can include blending dialogue, background music, and sound effects to create the final audio track. It's important to ensure that all audio tracks harmoniously blend and don't overpower each other. To do this, listen to the entire project again and monitor the overall volume level to avoid peaks and the volume of individual elements. For instance, in your video, there are three types of audio. The narrator's voice, nature sounds, bird song, wind noise, rustling leaves, and background music. Ensure that when the narrator talks about the types of trees he sees during the walk, he isn't drowned out by too loud wind noise or bird song in the background. Or if the background music has rich frequencies, it might overpower the bird song or rustling leaves. The eighth step is testing the sound. Watch the video on various devices such as headphones, speakers, and mobile phone. The goal is to ensure the sound plays back well and sounds good under different conditions. Testing on different devices helps ensure optimal sound, creating a natural forest atmosphere for viewers. The ninth step involves gathering feedback. When all sound elements are in place, I recommend showing the video to friends and colleagues to get their opinion on the sound. They can evaluate the quality of the background music, nature sounds, dialogues, and sound effects, and share their impressions. Feedback helps identify potential flaws and provides new ideas and suggestions to improve sound quality. However, such a thorough approach as in steps eight and nine is usually applied to complex and expensive projects for most YouTube videos, it's enough to ensure that sound elements don't overpower each other and all elements harmoniously blend. The 10th step is making final adjustments. Make the final edits considering the feedback and your own impressions. Pay attention to sound quality. Check that the sound is clear without noise and distortion. If necessary, adjust the volume level and balance. Check the smoothness of transitions, correct cutting, and the overall logic of the storyline. Pay attention to effects. Ensure that added elements support and complement the frame. Make sure the video conveys the necessary motions and fits the theme. And the video is ready for final export. In this video, I show you how to create amazing sound for your projects. You learn how to edit sounds, layer them, sync them with video, mix, and most importantly, how to achieve a result that you and your viewers will love. With sound design, you can achieve a more realistic atmosphere on screen and higher level of viewer engagement in your content. Good luck with your creativity and thanks for watching.